five-minute podcast for musicians. I'm Craig Kelly, your host from GigFaster.com, and today we're going to look at how to book gigs in 2020. Now they, they say hindsight is 2020, and I know we there were a lot of lessons learned in 2019. So today I'm going to look at two lessons that we learned, and they're just two clear lessons that we've learned in 2019. And you can carry forward with those in 2020, 2020, and, and you know, just make it a killer year. So the number one thing is that email wins over phone calls again. If you're calling the clubs, stop calling them, get their contact information, and start to email them. Now, you have to do it the right way. And actually, I'm pretty excited. I have a product coming out that it's not going to be super expensive or anything, but like it, it just contains everything that we use in GigFest. But the, stay tuned for that. That's coming up. Um, but one thing that was confirmed in big numbers is that email is still winning. It's the clear winner over making phone calls and calling clubs is like a thing of the past unless they ask you specifically call me you should be emailing them um, and this is a big win for independent artists because you know we don't have a lot of time and I remember booking gigs calling the old way and it just took so much time and the one thing I learned is that you need to follow up now following up whenever you're calling takes, I mean, easily, it takes like a hundred times much more time because you have to, you're on hold, you got to wait, you got to do this. You, you can create your follow-up email and schedule it. And it's done in like no time as opposed to, you can create the whole chain, the whole email sequence, as opposed to finding the time to call this person, waiting on hold, and then to getting told to be called, but tell, being told to be to call back and all that rigmarole. <laughs> it takes forever. And even calling clubs for your initial conversation takes 10 times at least as um, opposed to sending that intro email. So the takeaway here is the bottom line is you got to start emailing venues get the good contact information and start emailing them and if you're following the blog and stuff i mean there's tons of information on here for you to do it properly number two response time has stayed the sta steady response time has stayed steady so what does that mean that means that it's it still takes venues like the booking agent at venues, um, the same amount of time to, to reply. If you're using email, I'm talking about email. Um, phone calls could just be forever. But anyway, for emails, it's still taking about three and a half weeks after several follow-up emails. Now, three and a half weeks is a little... It, it's not like, okay, I send my first email, three and a half weeks later, I'm going to get a response. That's not what I mean. Um, it's more like the earliest you're going to get, re, re, get a reply to an email is three and a half weeks. So even if you send like three to six emails, which you shouldn't send more than six, you're, you're still going to, you still need a three and a half week window. It just, it takes time. The biggest point of failure I find for independent musicians and everything, I see it in gig faster all the time is that people quit before they even have a chance they expect something to happen just like that. And I know how exciting that is. You submit something, you submit a pitch, and you're like, okay, I check it next day. Did I get anything? Did I get anything? I, I know how that feels. I know, I know it is. It's so hard to be patient. But this is the thing. Like what I found for myself is that the best way to do this is to keep going. So don't just submit like 10 pitches. And then just go every day and check, 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 check. Keep doing your research. Keep keep refining your product. And keep doing something every day. And don't worry too much about, like, checking your pitches every day. You know, you, you come back and it's something you can do. But, you know, it can be really depressing. And I'm talking about even for people who've had a lot of success with it, you know. People with 
uber success get like super depressed whenever something doesn't go right. So the problem is instead of worrying about what you're going to receive, you have to keep producing, keep doing something. That's how you climb that mountain. So response time has stayed steady. Looking at about 5,000 email pitches in GigFast, or the most recent 5,000, the success rate was, guess what, around 2%. What does that, that seems really low, but guess what, that's a lot higher than industry average. And it could be even higher um, if people followed the blog, the podcast, uh, YouTube, TV, uh, all these things that we produce for you to learn from. Instead of trying to find a, a quick, you know, success, you know, like overnight success, if they would like follow the things I was just talking about, that number would be even higher. Now, one thing to remember is that GigFest is not like one of these band gig websites where, I mean, that's not where, what we're ultimately trying to do. I mean, we, we created this to help musicians book more gigs, um, to be able to submit to record labels, independent record labels, if that's what they're interested in and promoting their music to music bloggers and music reviewers because these are the things this is the marketing for your band that you need so and again the most successful artists have committed to the long haul they're not just in it just for like a month like you have to put your time in you know invest in yourself do something every day if not every day every week you know so <clears throat> the takeaway here is never give up and commit to that long haul and you'll find success. And I've, you, I've already talked about gig faster, but you know, gig faster can help you if you need to find contact information. We already have all the contact information you need and we have all these music blogs. I mean, that takes even more time than calling clubs a lot of times you know that's a very big pain point so we have that information for you you can pitch directly through gig faster and you know you can keep moving on with your stuff and take 100 times or 10 times less time to submit your music to these places so hey it's 2020 let's make it the best year ever and remember if you persist you will succeed never quit I'm Craig from Gig Faster, and I'll catch you next time.